it, it, I started in 2002 because my wife was doing a master here in New York. And so for me, New York is a very special city. It has been the witness of my relationship with my wife since 2002. So I'm really attached to the city. 9-11 is, is for our generation what was was uh, the assassination of JFK for our 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 parents? You know, everybody remember where they were and when this happened. And I remember I was in Germany and I was rehearsing and uh, and I stopped doing everything and we just uh, and we just stood in front of the of the TV watching this happening. And I still remember, you know, when the second plane hit the second tire, uh, tower, I thought, I thought it was, a, you know, it was a little bit s surreal because I thought it was actually a replay of what happened. And then actually you realize that one tower was already on fl in flame. And so this was actually happening live to you. So I have to say, I have to say I'm incredibly honored and and to to do to be part of this concert and it's 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 a great thing it's a great thing because obviously 911 changed the life of everybody in a way or another it's a piece that i um, i like particularly i performed performed only once in in a Mil with Milwaukee Symphony and uh, Edo de Vat and it's a piece that is uh, uh, very close to my to my heart. I have to tell you one thing. Maybe you don't know this. My father-in-law is Thomas Hampson, and it's kind of uh, the coincidence is kind of incredible because actually I remember that a week after 9/11 he performs he performed the Brahms Requiem with the New York Philharmonic and uh, and the Kurt Mazur, and you know and I find kind of. Um, you know, moving and uh, uh, interesting and odd that 10 years later, actually, I'm performing one movement for the same occasion. I mean, for the same occasion. So it's, 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 it's a nice thing for me. And, uh, and I, I am, I find the piece in, incredibly powerful. And so I think it's a very good choice for, for what it, this event means. I enjoy doing both. It's obviously, I I, incredi I enjoy incredibly to be on stage and to embody somebody, another character, somebody else. But I find that uh, in in the recital and the concert stage, the connection with the audience is even more immediate because you don't have the filter of a production. And a lot of time, you know, people listen what they see. They hear what they see. And when you actually do a concert or a recital, it's just you in front of the audience and, and, you, can, and you can present a piece, you know, in, in, without, you know, any distraction. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I mean, I, I, I moved around uh, a little bit, a, a, a bit, I have to say, uh, just because I, have, I, had to, I had to follow my, you know, my path. And uh, and when you are a musician, you can see that is uh, you can be anywhere, but you know you can be anywhere. But the music is uh, a language that everybody understands. I mean that I went to South America to study to study singing. It's, it was quite odd at the time, you know, and especially coming from Italy. But but is uh, that was my path. It was the right thing and the right choice to the right thing to do, the right choice for me, and and uh, and you know I feel at home a little. I, I feel at home everywhere. I like this gypsy life. I like to be on the road. I really enjoy it. I would I would not be so happy if I had to stay in the same place, you know, eleven months uh, in a year. I like the fact that I am traveling. I definitely think it's a language, and I and I'm I'm grateful for the fact that. Um, I can do this anywhere. Definitely Mozart. I find, you know, Mozart is certainly one of my favorite composers. I find, I, you know, especially the three Mozart da Ponte, which I perform in very often. Um, to me, prove the genius of this of, of Mozart. You know, it's every and and it's this kind of music. You know, this kind of music that you can perform. 
very frequently and never get tired because you discover a new thing every time you you get close to the piece. As I say, I'm a, I'm a classical music and opera freak because I really enjoy listening to 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 opera and to and to symphonic. So for me, Chester is like I'm a, when when every every time I go to on the on Medici on Medici TV uh, website, I'm like a, a kid on a candy store because there there is so many there you know there are so many things to see, and every time it's like oh I haven't watched this, so I could actually never go to work. At the entire day watching it. People, if they don't have the means to go to an opera house, they can actually enjoy this online. And then I am sure that, you know, uh, out of, I don't know, 100 people watching, if even 10% of those, they did then decide to go to opera. I think we, it was an incredible service for the, for the, for the opera world and the classical world. So I'm a, a huge fan of Medici.